so what we can do now is we are going to import now our person model class now here you will see the importance of that model class we will import person write model models which is our models folder and then after this slash sign when you type person you will see that person dot dot which is our model class is person model okay person model so now we can say person model dot person and we will give it name as person person instance person model dot person now one by one as you know that this person model class constructor with the help of constructor here we have to receive all these parameter okay all these things and then as we will save it we will send it or you can say save it to the firestore database so using this uh, to json using this to json we will save it as we will convert the normal data to json form using this to json and we will save this as a whole in json format to the firestore database okay so first of all let's send it okay that is with the help of this constructor we are going to receive these data so that's why we say person model dot person and this person is basically the constructor of our person model class so one by one the first thing that we are receiving here is the image profile so what we can do we can simply say image profile colon and then the value of which is saved inside the this variable which is url of downloaded image so we can say url of downloaded image then next thing we have is email password so we can say email value of which is save inside this email variable then password value of which is save inside password variable then next we have is name age so name value of which is inside name variable then age the publish dead time we have to get the current time so dead time dot now milliseconds since epoch let me quickly add here a comment so that we can easily understand it whenever we read our code so we have first personal info then we have appearance so this is all our data which is basically using this personal person instance we can access or in simple words you can say which we pass to our this person uh, constructor now the next thing is to basically save it to the firestore database with the help of this person instance as you know that this whole information is accessible using this person instance that is it is now inside this person instance so as we have it inside this person instance so let's save it to the firestore database so after this person model dot person we can simply say wait firebase firestore collection inside the firestore database we are 
going to create a main collection for saving all users information and it will be by the name users then dot doc and each user will have its own unique key under which each under which each user information will be saved or you can say in the users main collection each each user will be recognized by its unique uid user id so for that purpose we can simply say in order to get the user id and then under that unique UID we are going to set the user data and as I told you when we want to save the data to the Firestore database we will save it in JSON format we will send it or you can say we will save it to the Firestore database in JSON format so that data we can simply get using person instance dot to JSON and you remember this to JSON is basically over this that is the image profile value will be saved inside the database by this key name the email value will be saved inside the first row database by this key name and so on up to ethnicity the ethnicity name will be saved by this key name inside the first row database when we test the application you will see everything okay so that is why we create this to json on our person model class so now and after it we will just display a message a snack bar and that will be account created congratulations your current your account has been created